like me, you had to have learned a little bit about leadership while you're in the military. So can you describe how your time in service helped shape your understanding of leadership? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I won't go all the way back to my first time, but I do need to kind of touch on my, my beginning in the military, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Thank you. And so, if it takes so, too long, we'll just cut you off. Okay. That sounds like a great idea. And, <laughs> no, and I won't man, be offended. Go for it. <laughs> so, uh, my first real taste of formal military leadership, I guess, would be when I was in basic training, like most of us. Yeah. And if, if I had to guess, you can probably still remember the name of your instructor, yep, your section definitely. commander. Yeah. Because, because that nobody ex- forgets that person. Exactly. The, inf- the level of influence that person brings to someone is astronomical. Mm-hmm. And, and I was very, very fortunate because my guy happened to be master corporal Smith was calm and cool and collected under all different kinds of pressures and stuff. And I remember thinking about that and the specific story that I, that I have, and I remember this, it stuck with, it still sticks with me was we were out in the field on basic training. It was a winter exercise and we're trying to put up the 10 person tent. A mess. It's a, it's, it's, it's an interesting dance (laughs) when everyone's fully trained. That's right. But when you've got 10 guys and it it happened to be 10 men in my section uh, and none of us knows what we're doing, it's, it's comical. It's Uh like watching the circus clowns. So it happened to be that my role was to, uh, light the, the Coleman stove in the lantern, which provides light and heat for the tent. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And and so it happened to be that because my dad was also in the military, we happened to have these things. So I was well-versed in starting these things. And so I was able to fortunately get these things lit quickly. So I'm off to the side and I'm watching my section mates running around and this tent is going up very, very slowly. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually, my hands are frozen because I, I, I'm realizing that it's Canada and we can't figure out how to put a tent up. Exactly. So the master corporal looks at me and he says, Cardinal, if your hands are cold, you can put them over the flames. It's not your fault that they can't get the tent up. And when your job is, it's time to actually start getting these things inside the tent. You need to be able to do that properly. And and I, that stuck with me. He just talked to me like I was a human being yeah. and he had, it was basic training. I don't know what yours was yeah. like, but in mine, there was an awful lot of swearing uh-huh. an awful lot of push-ups. And that's pretty and much that was, true of everybody's basic training all over the world. Yeah, exactly. Right. And he had, he could have employed that. Like, listen, dumbass, get down and start yeah. doing push-ups. That'll warm you up. How many times have you heard that? <laughs> That'll warm your hands up. <laughs> exactly. And so that really stuck with me. And I tried to employ that type of uh, servant, humble leadership throughout my my career, not even knowing that those names were attached to those types of things. So yeah. it's amazing how yeah. those little moments way back in 1994 have shaped me to the point I am today. Well,